Hi guys. So I've had quite a few comments over the past couple of months, if not years, of people that are saying that they they don't know how to bind books and that part, like they have they have everything they need to make a book, but they don't have the know-how to bind one together. And I know that there's a lot of you that are intimidated by the process of binding, and so I thought I would do a really really easy simple tutorial for you guys today. So I really do believe that when it comes to binding people just get intimidated by the idea of it before they've even sort of given it a go and I promise you that this tutorial is going to be so easy that anyone can do it. You can do it. Don't be scared. Just try it. You'll be surprised how easy this is. So I'm probably just going to not even use technical terms for this tutorial because I don't want to confuse anyone. I just want to literally keep it as easy as I possibly can. And once you get this down pat and you you know this like the back of your hand, you'll be able to move on to more difficult binding methods if you choose to. Okay, so first I'm just going to talk about what you will need. So obviously you are going to need a book to bind or sheets of paper that you want to bind together. For this tutorial I'm just using A4 sheets of copy paper. I've only got three of them here but all I'm going to do is just fold them in half just for the sake of video so I can show you how to bind. So whatever type of book you're making you can apply this binding method to it whether you are making a single signature like I'm going to be right now or whether you're you're making a thicker book with multiple signatures. By the way, a signature is a group of pages. So, so for example, in this book that I've bound, it has 10 signatures. So it has 10 lots of pages. I think it has 10. Yeah, it has 10. So 10 separate lots of pages that are all bound beside each other like this. So with this tutorial, you will be able to bind like I have here. So other than the book that you want to stitch together, you're also going to need a needle. So the needle I use at the moment is a darner's needle and darning needles are long needles with a large eye for repairing holes or worn sections in clothings. clothing. <laughs> clothing. Um, the reason I'm using this needle at the moment is because it has, it's big enough to bind through paper and through my card, but the eye, if you can see the eye on the needle, it's, it's not too thick because the bigger your eye is, like this, see this needle here, how the eye is much bigger. If the eye is bigger or fatter, it's going to stretch the holes um, through your paper and through your card and make the holes bigger, which is fine. But if you want them to be less visible, you want a needle that's strong and pretty big, but you want the eye to be quite slim. Another type of needle you can use is a, a doll's needle, or there are plenty of other different types of needles out there, um, even book binding needles that you can buy. So. You need a needle, you're also going to need an awl or a little pokey stick, <laughs> just something that can poke the holes before you stitch it, just it makes your life a whole lot easier. So I buy mine from Spotlight here in Australia um, in the sewing section, but you can probably buy these online on eBay in lots of different shops. So if you have a look around you should be able to find one of these pretty easily. And then the other thing you're going to need is something to keep your pages together. So once you've assembled your signature or your group of pages, your book, you really want to keep those pages together sitting exactly the way you want them to sit. So you're going to need to clip them together. I'm just going to use paper clips. So you can use paper clips or you can use bulldog clips or binding clips and you can also what I used to use was these big bobby pins just because they're such a, a big size um, when you have signatures that have shorter pages so 
so say I had a little mini page in the middle here those bobby pins are very helpful for holding those shorter pages in place another thing you're going to need is a thread or a cord or a string depending on what you're making your book for um, will determine what type or how good quality the thread will need to be for you so for my books I sell in Etsy I use a wax linen thread because it's very strong but you can use anything that you have on hand especially if you're just starting out or you're just practicing so for this tutorial I'm going to use some thread I'm actually just using a string because I know that a lot of you won't have a wax linen thread so I'm going to use this this string so that you can see that this worked just fine as well. Basically you just need something that's going to thread through the eye of your needle and something that's not going to snap. And it's kind of you can see that with the string it's a bit more difficult to bite to it's a bit more difficult to thread it through the eye because of all the little different fibers that are wrapped together. But once you get it through I'm going to show you a way to bind it without doing any measuring whatsoever so that for those of you who are a bit intimidated you don't even have to worry about getting out a ruler or making a template or anything like that so you're going to take your your pokey stick your little sharp pokey stick don't stab yourself with it and open up your signature to the middle of the book all I'm going to do without measuring is make a hole roughly in the middle so it's not perfect I just use my eye to measure it that's fine it's gonna it's gonna work just fine the only thing is if you want it to look absolutely perfect that's when you want to template and measure where your holes are going to go so next you're going to make two more holes so you're going to make one on either end so I'm going to make one about an inch in from each end again I'm just eyeballing it doesn't have to be perfect it's fine and now we're ready to stitch it so literally three holes and we're ready to go we go in through the middle hole don't pull it all the way through because we need to tie it off after now you need to go back in to the signature so it doesn't actually matter with three holes which hole you go in whether you go in the top one or the bottom one doesn't make a difference just go back in to the middle of the signature back through the hole you created again don't pull it all the way through but pull it so that it's tight okay so we're back in the middle now we're going to go back through the middle hole so we're going back out same as we did the first time And now we're going to go back through the last hole that we haven't gone in yet. So for me it's the top one, but for you it could be the bottom. Just depends which one you've gone through and which one you haven't gone through. It doesn't make a difference. So back in. And that is literally it. Once you're back in, you've got both your ends on the inside. All you need to do is tie it up. Make sure you tie it fairly tightly because you don't want your stitches to be loose. So tie it, I double knot it, and there, there you have it. So then you will just want to trim down your thread or your cord or your string, and there is your stitch. You can remove the clips that you use to hold your pages together, and now you have a book. So if you were to do this type of binding into a into a book that has multiple signatures you can do the exact same thing but you will want to measure you'll have to make a template so that you can line it up and all the all of your stitches will sit next to each other neatly worried about it being perfect and you wanted to make a template all you need to do is take some paper scrap bit of paper or whatever and it's got to be the same height as the book the book that you're binding is so the same size 
And then you will need a ruler. Where is my ruler? Found it, okay. So you need a ruler and you're going to measure it. So if you want it to be perfect. So it depends as well. You can change this up so that it has more holes if you wanted to. When you add more holes, it's basically the same. You start in the middle and then you just kind of go in and out and in and out and in and out until you meet back in the middle and then you tie it up. So it's really, really easy, this method of binding. Really, really simple. You can do it. I promise you can do it. So if you wanted to use a template and make it perfect, so I would go, this is about eight. So where is a pen? I need a pen. So middle would be, I'm not good at measuring, which is why I don't measure. Eight and one quarter, so it's going to be four and point four point two. Is that right? I don't know, but that's the middle. Okay, so there's the middle. And then um, I usually go about an inch in from each end because it's not too close to the end, but it's not too too far. It's just I just find that, that that's a really nice measurement to go in from because it makes your book it makes your binding quite strong I find. So that is the binding perfect. So I'm gonna test my eye and see how close I was. Oh my gosh, I was pretty close. See I just eyeballed it. Because I'm binding books all the time um I'm, I've got the measurements in my head already, so it's pretty close. But if you wanted to measure it, if you wanted to measure it, all you would do before you make your holes and your pages are clipped together, you would take your template to the middle of the signature and you would use this as a guide as to where to poke your holes. So I can't believe how close I got that to the actual measurements. But yeah, you just poke it through. And you would do that on each of your signatures. And then all of your signatures will have the exact same binding. It will look the exact same. So if you wanted to apply this to a book that had multiple signatures, let's just pretend this is the cover. So we would take the same template that we use for our, our signatures. And obviously this cover would be, you would know where your putting your holes but you would use the template by the way make sure you mark which sides your top and your bottom if your if your measurements aren't the exact same because when you flip it it won't line up if you accidentally flip it but anyway when you take it to your cover you just want to dot where your holes are going to be if you want this to look absolutely perfect and evenly spaced you can definitely measure this out with a ruler so say you have four signatures, you just line them up, measure it out, dot, dot it up using the template. You will also take your template to every single one of your signatures and poke your holes through. And that way they're going to line up because you use the same template. And then you would just go ahead and poke the holes in your cover. So you'll have your holes poked in your cover, you'll have your holes poked in your signatures and then you'll be ready to stitch. You will do the exact same method that we did just before with the stitching, only when you go through the signature, you will go through the cover as well, but the exact same way in and out and then tie it up and then you'll have your signature bound in there and then you can go ahead and do the next signature and then the next one, the next one. So I hope that makes sense. I really, really do because it is very straightforward. But if you do have any questions or you're struggling with anything, please leave me a comment and I'll try and help you out. Um, yeah, and don't be scared to try this. Don't be scared to try. And once you do this one, this is probably the easiest binding method ever, but it's my favourite, really. It, I just love the way the long stitch looks. And it's very quick and simple. So, so once you have this down pat though, you can explore different binding methods, you can add more holes in, you can start doing crisscross things, there's all different types of binding methods out there and people on YouTube put them up for you to learn for free. So use the resources to teach yourself something and don't be afraid to try because 
it's not hard it's really not it's just a bit it's just new but once you once you start once you do this a couple of times you will be laughing <laughs> at yourself for thinking that this was too hard for you because it's really really not anyway i hope i hope this has helped you if you enjoyed the video um let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys soon bye bye